Hey guys, it's a girl Kunach Okan. Okay, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, welcome to the family. Welcome to the Kunach Nation family. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. So today I'm gonna be telling you guys a story. Story, story, story. Once upon a time, Kunach Okan messed things up with her crush and got ditched for a light skin girl. Yes. So let's get down to the video. Damn, girl. So guys, I had a crush on a dark skin guy. I stalked him on Instagram and Facebook. I would check his comment section, looking for these girls that were commenting, and I would check how he was replying them and everything. He was a dancer, so whenever he posts videos on Instagram, I would always get notifications and everything. So one beautiful morning, I summoned. I said, let me send this boy a message. I said, hi. And he replied, hey. And I was like, damn. He actually replied, no, do you know, mom? Please, and she's, how are you doing? How was your day? And we got to that point whereby you text someone for a particular time and it just ends. Like, we got to that point. The conversation just ended. Get. Um, I don't deny now, I was still checking his Instagram and everything. One faithful day, oh god, I went out to someone. Not even went out to someone, I was thrilled, you know, with someone and I saw him for the first time. And believe me, he will have me fat. I was looking like trash. I mean, trash, my hair scattered, my skirts, not like everything was not in place. In my mind, I felt I can actually hide from this guy, but my village people were out for me that day. The person I was working with knew him. Jesus Christ. So then I knew now this let me greet my friend kind of situation. Oh God, and my fine crush walked up to us, shook hands with the person, and he did not even greet me. Okay, he greeted me. But he was looking at me above my head. You know that moment whereby somebody doesn't know how to look at you to so know that you are looking like trash. So that was exactly what happened. He just looked at me above my head. I was like, hello, hi, Jesus. I was like, oh, God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I did not message him. First of all, I was angry that he didn't greet me. Like, I felt maybe he was pretending not to see me and stuff like that. So, I didn't text him. I didn't send him any message for like two whole weeks. Guess what happened? Hmm. God. He sent me a message. And he was like, um, I saw you few days back but i wasn't sure that you're the one i knew he was lying like i was very certain that that boy was lying i know he was lying he was just giving me time to recover from my shame and embarrassment news flash blah 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 we started talking <laughs> we started talking every day basically like we would send messages to each other to the point that he got my number and everything like we were moving so well and it felt like magic <sighs> it breaks my heart anytime I remember this okay now you must know that while we were texting and calling each other we were seeing each other like physically yeah I knew where he used to do his dance with his house. So when I do that, it is like getting to the point where they are going to end like their dance with his house. I would go there and wait. He felt it was coincidental, but I knew what was going on. I knew that I was leaving my house to go see a man. <laughs> like I knew for sure what was happening, but I don't think he noticed. I don't know, but it doesn't matter. We started talking, we were seeing each other and everything. And finally, he told me the words, I like you. You know that I reflect. I like you too, but as a brother. Like, oh, bro! Can you imagine? Hey, Why? Like, 
I I don't even understand. See, um, the annoying thing was that I started researching crazy stuff. How to be a hard girl. How to make a man beg him. Oh God. See, ah, Jesus, I can't believe it. God have mercy. Like, don't do that shit. Don't ever research that thing in your life. Like, just allow the beat to flow naturally. Don't ever. So I was all broke the camel's back over. I told my crush that I like him as a bro. Like, bro. He stopped talking to me, actually. I think he felt bad. First of all, he was older than me. So he felt bad and he felt embarrassed. Yes. I told him I liked him as a brother. And immediately, like, instantly, he never stopped liking my pictures. He stopped commenting. He wasn't replying my messages. Not like someone that used to when I post a picture, he will repost it and all those stuff. He stopped every goddamn thing. So when we met, I was like, What's up? Like, are you avoiding me? And all those stuff. He said, No, that he's not. Um, I said, Okay, fine. Normally, I would show him pictures I took anytime we see. When I showed him, he was like, Okay, that the pictures are not fine, that I'm becoming ugly. Chai! How was like me ugly? Are you serious? He's always saying that I'm ugly and all those stuff. Do you know that, like, while all this was happening, I never knew that the day I told my clients I like him like a bro, another lady entered the picture. I think really, I think the girl was already in the picture, but because I was there, she wasn't. And then when I just left, when I just did that useless mistake, another girl entered the picture. It broke my heart and forget it. Ah, Jesus. Like, I felt bad. So bad. I felt really bad. But whatever, whatever, whatever. He started saying that my pictures were ugly and I was really getting upset. Not once one morning. I think it was in the morning. I was on my way to the market and I saw him. God, if you see light skin popo, ah, Jesus, the girl was pretty light skin, she was so fine. And you know what annoyed me? He walked up to me and was like, Hello, meet my sister. Hey, that is me, sister. I was like, meet my sister, little sis, hey Jesus, meet my girlfriend, Chai God. I felt bad though, hmm. let me not lie, I felt bad, eh? I felt really, really bad, I felt so bad, because I was like, we're actually heading somewhere, we're going somewhere, and all of a sudden, you're just ditching me for a light skin girl, you just abandoned me, I felt really bad, but... That was then. That was like a really, really, really long time ago. I don't know if it's my fault or I don't know. I don't know who to blame basically, but I'll not blame anybody. It's just my village people that were after me. I wasn't thinking basically. I was. I was what? I wasn't just thinking. So that is it. So, but news flash. He was actually really loyal like he was such a loyal boyfriend to the point that okay there was a time that i saw him and i was like oh my god pretty boy i just thought his cheek or guy shifted my hand i was like stop i have a girlfriend i was like what ah uh, i don't know what i don't want to do that he's just cheek he was like no he has a girlfriend and all stuff so I let it go. But look at me now. We must be here. We be my dear. And it is my time. It is my it's my goddamn time. To tell him that you lost. You lost something special. You lost all this beauty. So don't expect me to sit back. To sit back and cry. Because I did not cry. But well, that's what I tell myself. I do not cry. So guys. I hope you enjoyed my story. Please don't 
don't research how to be a hard girl. Hard girl, you know they pay. You know, not take care anyway. At the end of the day, you'll be heartbroken and you will cry. It might work for some people, but for me, it not work out. So please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Instagram at Courage Oga. You, know, you can see, I see, I have enough pictures. Enough, more than enough. So please follow me on Instagram at Courage Oga. Yeah, I love you guys so much. I love you all so much. And yes, 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 yes. A better time album is just oh god shit. It's too much. Too much. Like just too much. Anytime I talk about this particular story, I would always remember Holy Ground. She called me brother. I call her sister too. I love that song. Holy ground to Tanana, to Zada, to the best, to Jawa, ah, Opo. That album is so much. So see you guys some other time. I love you all. Stay safe.